Hey guys, if you're interested in making t-shirts, you've come to the right place. I'm going to do a little t-shirt one-on-one with you about how to heat press a t-shirt. Stay tuned. First, I just want to show you my t-shirt. This is my Wakandan Queen t-shirt that I made. I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to heat press t-shirts. Um, I'm going to do a couple of videos a little later on about how to, you know, print out a design, how to make your design on silhouette and, you know, teach you a little bit so that you won't have such a hard time like I did in the beginning. Okay, guys, we are in the basement. This is where I have my heat press machine. Um, I don't have an office space for this because there's just nowhere in the house for it. We don't have an extra bedroom that no one's using, so you have to put it where you can. So anyway, this is in my basement. I just have a little corner in my basement. This is actually like a little window kind of thing in my basement near my storage. So this is where I stuck it for now. Um, we're not finished with our basement, so... This is the little station I have. I have a power heat press. And you can go to www.powerheatpress.com or I got mine off of Amazon. And I'll put the price and everything below. So anyway, here it is. And over here, we don't have lights over here, but and this is the power button. And as you can see, the cord is coming out of the back. You want to put your heat press near a outlet because this cord is this short and I'm just going to go ahead and plug it up here. You don't want to put it on an extension cord. You don't want to attach your cord to an extension cord. So it needs to be near an outlet and it's going to tell you what bolts and all that stuff, you know, that you need when the power press comes. So this is the little book that came with mine. And it's real simple. It's really thin. Okay, so I use the book and then also I use some tutorials. But anyway, you're going to go ahead and flip the switch on. And you want it set to 315. As you might have just seen, that's what I have mine set on right now. It is at 66 degrees and it has to heat up. So you have to wait for it to heat up. And I have mine set to a 16 second heat press. And here are the buttons down here for your temperature settings. I hope you can see that. Temperature settings and your time. Um, you're going to click the temp button first. And you're going to see the little arrow on the left hand side. And I'm sorry I can't point to it right now because I'm holding down the heat press with one hand and filming with the other. So um, you're going to tap that first button that says temp. That's temperature. And you're going to then go ahead and click, start clicking on the up arrow. And you will take it to where you want it set to. So if you want it set on... 300 you know it might when you first turn it on for the first time it might be on you know 15 0 to 15 degrees so you're going to click that button all the way up until it says 300 or 315 degrees whatever you need it to be you're going to click it until it reaches until it says that number and then for the time you're going to do the same you're going to click the time button and you're going to then go over one where you see the arrow up button right there and you're going to click it up until it says 16 seconds or however many seconds you need your garment pressed for. So most of my t-shirts are 100% cotton. So what I do, that's the setting that was recommended. 315 degrees for 16 seconds. So that's what I have mine's preset on. It stays on that for the most part. Okay, and this pressure knob, mine's kind of came already preset. I really didn't have to do a lot to it. Um, the pressure is the amount of, I wouldn't say weight, but the amount of pressure that you want your shirts pressed at so that the letters and the vinyl sticks. So to increase your pressure, you're going to do it clockwise. To decrease the, 
the pressure, you're going to do it counterclockwise. While the um, heat press is heating up to the temperature it needs to be, you're going to position your t-shirt on the heat press and it's warm down here but this up here is what's hot. That's the actual iron. So you want to be careful with your hands and everything. But um, you see where that knob is back there? That's the center. That's where I use my gauge for. I don't measure and all of that stuff. I've always been pretty good with, you know, just iron things. And they come out well. So you want to make sure the center of the t-shirt, which this time I'm making a v-neck. And this is the first time I'm doing a v-neck. So you want to make sure that v is in the center with that red knob. And make sure that on the sides you have the same amount. Just kind of eye it. Make sure the same amount of cloth is hanging off. Now when you're pressing a shirt, for a round neck you want to take about a business card size and that's where you want to start your first set of letters. Right here, since this is a v-neck, you know it scoops down lower. We're not going to go that far. We're going to go like half the size of a business card. I'm sorry. I'm going to be Go like half the size of a business card right under that V. So that's about an inch and a half. So we're going to scoot this up so that all the letters, and I'm going to show you in a second what I'm talking about, so that all of the design fits on here as much as possible so we don't have to double press. But I'm going to scoot this all the way up so we have more shirt to work with on here. As you can see, I have the V all the way to the back. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and it's not on there yet, but I'm going to go ahead and press this for like mm, six seconds to get the moisture out. And I'm not even going to clamp it down. That's about six seconds. All right, and that way, oh, sorry about that. That way you get the moisture out of the shirt and your letters will stick properly. Okay, I have the vinyl here and in another video I'm going to show you about how to weed, how to actually do a design and then print the design and weed the design. So anyway, I have everything cut out right now since we're just learning about pressing. Okay, um, this is sticky on this side. So what you want to do is make sure there are there's no lint. Make sure that there are no little specks of vinyl on there either because that will press into your shirt. I did that one time and I was able to fix it, <laughs> but you don't want to do that. Okay, so we're going to put this up kind of near the V. Okay, and center it. And then we're going to do the rest with all the other letters. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So you just you're just kind of eyeing and measuring. If you measure, you just kind of eyeing and make sure and everything is centered. We're gonna get the design on there ready to press. Here we are with the letters on and the little designs. There's one more design I have to put on, and that's gonna be at the bottom of the shirt. It could not fit on to the platform, so it has to be pressed again. And um, as you can see, it is centered. Make sure that your shirt is straight, hanging off of there. And like I said, it's equal on both sides. And the middle is where that B point is, okay? See my tip of my crown is where that B is and I can make sure everything is centered. Also guys, the sticky side is down. Um, so you'll know when you come across my other videos when I make how to, you know, weed them out. The sticky side is down. So that kind of keeps it from sliding. And we're going to put a Teflon sheet over the design. And I can't do it on camera because both hands need to <laughs> do this. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to cover this. Make sure nothing is sliding. And because, you know, it's the sticky side is down, it doesn't really slide easy. But you're going to put this over the design evenly while you heat press it so that nothing gets scorched or burned or anything like that. Okay. And of course now it's all set. It's, it's preheated. It's 315 degrees. And that is Fahrenheit, of course. And we're going to go ahead and press the 
Teflon placed over the design so nothing scorches. And we're going to lock it down. It takes a little muscle to do that. All right, guys, and that first press was just for like four seconds. That's a pre-press. And that is so that the letters adhere to the t-shirt. But we're going to take this plastic off. Because if you don't take the plastic off, you know, soon enough, it gets those, you ever seen those indentations or blocks in the shirt around the design? Like squares or rectangles or whatever around your designs. That's because of the, um, that plastic has been left on. So you want to just get the vinyl adhered to the shirt and you want to take the plastic off and it just peels away. I'm going to do the rest. All right, the design is adhered to the shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Teflon sheet on top and finish pressing it. As you see, this is glitter and this is glitter. The other accent at the bottom is going to be glitter too. Teflon is back on for the second press. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, shoot. Whew. I'm going to go ahead and press. Okay. By the time you get the handle down to a certain point, I think it starts counting. So you want to hurry up and click it in. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to let it go two more seconds because it wasn't really pressing when I was. Okay. And you just yank the handle up and it comes up, okay? And there we go. That is so pretty. On a purple shirt, white and silver. So, there we go. I'm going to put where I get my vinyl and everything from down in the description box. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put on the other part of the design. This is the bottom part for the design of the shirt. Um, as you do t-shirts more and more, you're going to come up with little crafty designs that you do on your own that no one else does. Um, this little trick here, I'm not going to tell you completely, <laughs> but I kind of take scraps from my, uh, my designs that I cut and there are always scraps left over when you have to weed out designs and stuff. So some of the scraps I use and these are scraps actually and I just use them and make little pretty designs on the shirt to add a little extra oomph and originality to my designs. So these do not have the plastic on the back because they were weeded out. So you do have to put the Teflon on carefully for that. Okay as you can see that design is straight on there too. You can see through the paper and I am just going to put it on there just for a few seconds Ooh, I'm sorry for like 10 seconds because I've already heated this part of the design so I'm not going to overheat it but I just wanted to get this stuck to the t-shirt and now I'm going to finish pressing it so it's a good press on there and won't come off so I'm going to turn the shirt around so that it's you know may might be included in there and that's okay but I'm going to go ahead and turn it around. There we go. I've turned this shirt around. I've tur turned the t-shirt around. See, that's that hanging down. So I just want to press the bottom. Like I said, May is included, and that's okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a press on there. And I'm not going to leave it on for the full 15 seconds because it's already been pressed a little bit. So get back to that. I'm going to have to give it a pretty hard yank and there we go all nicely done and here is the t-shirt all nicely done and it's all centered it looks very pretty I hope you can see it decently um, I'll try to get a picture of it kind of further away in a second but I'm letting it kind of you know just cool off um, it is a purple shirt with white writing and silver glitter crown, silver glitter accents here down at the bottom. And this writing is white also. So it came out very nice. All right, got another one to press, but thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you right back here next time on Tracy's Place. Subscribe!